All right, boys. We're tearing this down. We're going to repaint it. We're going to repaint it a beautiful, beautiful purple. <laughs> it's so bad. He's half of the thing just rusted out. Ooh. Oh, my God. This is disgusting. Yeah, we'll fix it. Oh, my God. The whole, that's why it leaks so fucking much. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's why I have water intrusion. Here's the stock where this strut is supposed to go, but they have this weird, we, like... Didn't no we idea. fix that, Walter? We like, fixed this one up here. Oh, I was going to say, I welded something. Yeah, there, on this one. No, it's no, just, no. This thing's janky. The, this. the stock location's right here. <laughs> like, it just where screwed this right through the... <laughs> Dude. Dude. All right. So, it's uh, Friday night. We just roll in around... 8 p.m. and we start taking apart the car. Now, we have to be back uh, Sunday night because my friend Walter, whose car we're painting, has work at like five in the morning the next day and I have to go to school the next day. So we have about 48 hours to rip apart the car, sand it, paint it, let it dry, and then dry, put it together and then drive back um, from Tehachapi to Los Angeles. Um, so this is a very, very quick situation that we have to deal with. I mean, it was ridiculous. Um, so about within the 48 hours, me and Walter got a collective six, seven hours of sleep. Uh, we had, uh, at first it was just us two. And then later on we were joined by one, two, three, four, five, like six other people. Uh, so that made things go a lot quicker. Without them, I really don't think we would have been able to make it in time. So, as you can see, we're just tearing apart the car, and as we tear it apart, we find more and more and more and more and more rust and janky things that go along with it. Um, you'll see that later on. I got a couple pictures. Don't show people how I'm doing this. <laughs> Oh, this one's coming off too. <laughs> yeah, so that plastic trim just completely broke. Every single piece of it was breaking on, on both sides. Uh, Walter was trying really hard to be careful on the other side, and it was just snapping and snapping. But he wasn't going to keep it anyway, so it's kind of fine if it broke, because he wasn't going to put it on the car to begin with. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks because he could have sold it or someone else could have used it and put it on their car. But, uh, you know, it happens. It's 30-year-old plastic. What are you going to do? Um, so, yeah, Walter's taking off the, uh, you know, the windows here. I was super scared they were going to break. So that's why I recorded to have evidence that, you know, I did not have anything to do with the windows, all right? If it broke, it was not my fault. And uh, in a turn of events, everything went better than expected. Um, as you can see here ton of rust. This was one of the worst spots on the car. I mean, oof, just bad, bad, bad. Um, it was, it was pretty much the most visible rust you could see. There was a lot of other rust that really wasn't super apparent, but this was just, oof, nasty. So yeah, so now we start sanding the car. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, I was going away at that slowly, 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 just trying to get all the rust off. I mean, it was a pain. It was a total pain. There's rust there. There was rust everywhere. Um, now it's pretty late. Did it really? Yeah. It looks totally fine. Yeah, I got a... Uh, My crusty ass nails in there. <laughs> and yeah, so about 3.30 in the morning, we head to bed. We get maybe two, three hours of sleep, wake up, and get right back to it. Um, it was possibly going to rain that day i think so we were trying to get things going you know we were trying to go as fast as possible um but not sacrificing quality um and then a bunch of other people showed up to help and it was amazing uh so we had a lot of people and things went way faster we could not have done it without everybody's help um and then right here um it doesn't have to be perfect because he's putting on over fenders so just where it's visible is uh where we were fixing it 
And uh, this is footage of me because I wanted to prove that I actually did help. Uh, I was doing a lot of sanding. Just every once in a while, I'd pick up the camera and do a little sweep around. Uh, this guy, just monster with the thing. Oh, my God. It was beautiful, beautiful. And, uh, yeah, so then everyone's just kind of checking out the car. We're almost ready to paint. Um, just going over some few minor things, uh, you know, taping up everything. And, uh, you know, just us airing it off, getting all the dust off. Uh, Brett's hanging it up here. I was scared this was not going to, uh, you know, stay up because these things are kind of heavy. But, uh, yeah, no, everything went better than expected. And then in the backyard is uh, Walter's old RX-7. Uh, hopefully this thing will have some life into it one day. But uh, until then, it's going to chill out there in the backyard. I am super stoked just, like, looking at it. It was so cool. Um, and then we got the BMW right next to it. I don't know what's up with that thing. It's uh, interesting, to say the least. The big reveal. Everyone's here. Everyone's here for the big reveal. Oh, baby. Damn. Yeah, dude. Look at that sweet grace spot. <laughs> Baby, that scene, right? Yeah. Right, this is. Baby. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> the sparkles in this. Yeah, Look at that, dude. Oh yeah. Wait, wait. Let me see. I want to see. I want to see the. The. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god! This is amazing. That looks so good. <laughs> Your frame rail is just like kissing the ground. Mining's great coming in here. All right, come back out. Throw some boards under it. No, we'll make it. We'll make it, he says. We're beach. Come back. Walter, the second you see your front tire in the trailer, stop. Ready? Set, go. Well, what are we hitting? Are we all the way up on the trailer? Yeah, the jack as high as I can go. Dude, oh man. Can we jack it up with your car jack? No, you got some bolts that are sticking down. It's so fucking close, dude. It's just bolts? Oh, it's it's probably the transmission <laughs> bolts. Well, who's on there? You don't need that, right? We can just, yeah, just push it goes out. Right? <laughs> just cut them off. Yeah, jack the front up with something else. Hey, what is it? It's a little 8.6, I'm pretty sure we don't lift it. Yeah, so uh, we decided just to jack up the little door, uh, slide the car on in, and everything went better than expected. Um, i just like to uh, say thank you for everyone who helped out, uh, and uh, to Brett and Kayla for, uh, one, letting me drink all their vanilla Coke, and uh, two, letting us sleep at their house and use their garage to paint, and thank you, Brett, for painting the car, because that was... An amazing job. Yeah, you can see uh, we messed that up. Walter's going to have to get him a new one. A nice solid gold one. Um, yeah, and then it was uh, it turned out amazing. The color was beautiful. Uh, all the sparkles in it were great. And uh, the car was a... It, it's it's now a perfect... Like, it's it looks amazing. Um, and I will never do it again. It was such an, like, a tiring weekend. I went home and I passed out. Um, it was, it was awful. But it was a fun time, a memorable weekend. Um, and we had a lot of good laughs. Uh, and, uh, yeah, everything turned out better than expected. I can't wait to, uh, never have to do this again. Uh, oh, and that, f that, like, ooh, that bumper. That was my old bumper that I didn't end up using. But, oh, it looks so good on his car. And I love the purple. It's beautiful. Tell me what you think.